Hello, it's JoeCat12345 here again, and this is another video about my fish tank. And what do you notice different? Uh, no sponge filters, unlike before. Now the reason why I took them out, this amazing thing. It's my DIY sump filter in action. This is not a DIY overflow box, it's a... I forget what it's called, but it's real it's like one of the top of the line ones, so it's really nice. Uh, I'm really impressed with this filter. This is my spray bar right here. You can't really tell. There's a lot of holes in it as you can see. And it circulates the water. Now this is really cool. The water going through this overflow comes down through these flexible discharge hoses. See I can squeeze it and goes into this hole, two T's, and then goes in here, and that's your filter floss. And then after that, it goes to a drip plate, into your wet dry sponge filter, it's wet dry, believe it or not. Then it goes to the bio ball chamber, I am gonna get more bio balls. But I have some those ATI sponges in there to start the bio up. Then I have a auxiliary chamber at the bottom here. Uh, that's my heater. This is the pump. This is carbon. There's bubble pumps. And since I lifted up that pump, I got all these bubbles. But yeah, basically this is basically. All this together actually cost me more than an FX5, which I was going to get. And boy, was it worth it, I think. I mean, it's a lot better than an FX5. It's a wet dry filter. Uh, my tank's bigger now. I, don't, I have a wet dry filter. I don't need some bio sponge in my aquarium. All my fish are happy. Oh, an algae eater is sharing the place with the. But go safe. Yeah, so that's all. Phone call. Thank you. Bye.